What are you running from? For most of my life, I ran from my pain. I tried to make others happy so I wouldn't have to address my own sadness, fear, failures, insecurities, lack of control, and so forth. Where did this land me? Well, it landed me here, writing about this to you now. At this moment, I'm only just starting to work through this stuff. It's interesting because I've been walking with Jesus since the end of 2021 slash beginning of 2022. And I thought he would automatically fix me, that I wouldn't have to put the work in. And the thing is, he did fix me. He gave me a new spirit. That was a long time ago when I first put my faith in him. But just because we put our faith in him, that doesn't mean all of our problems go away. We have to renew our minds. We have to grow spiritually. And oftentimes, in order to do both these things, we have to heal. How do we heal, though? I think the first step to healing is acknowledging we hurt. Right before I started writing this to share with you, I decided to free write to the Lord. I typed out whatever came to mind, my fears, memories from childhood. Sometimes it's easier for me to write out how I feel than to speak it aloud. Maybe that's easier for you too. Psalm 34, 18 tells us, the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. I looked up contrite and it means feeling or showing sorrow and remorse for a wrong that one has done. This tells us that it's okay to acknowledge our hurt, pain, regret, even our anger and unforgiveness. It doesn't matter what negative emotion it is. If we lie to ourselves about it, if we refuse to see it, we can't heal from it. But when we choose to see it, God sees us. And he draws near to us. That's what Psalm 34, 18 says. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite or sorrowful and remorseful spirit. James 4, 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Clean your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. There's many levels, meanings, and application to God's word. In this instance, I believe James 4, 8 can be understood as, if we address what we're hiding, refusing to see, running away from, we can begin to address our double-mindedness. And that makes moving forward a lot easier. A well-known story of someone literally running away from themselves, their feelings, and God's calling on their life is Jonah. God instructed Jonah to prophesy to the Ninevites, people who lived in the Assyrian city Nineveh, to repent from their sins. Instead of listening to God, Jonah ran from him. I believe he was also running from himself. Jonah was double-minded. Double-minded means wavering in mind, undecided, vacillating. While Jonah's contempt toward the Ninevites may have been unwavering, his trust in God wasn't. In other words, Jonah had to deal with his indecision in order to move forward. And how did he do it? He landed himself in a whale for three days and three nights. And during this time, he looked himself straight in his heart, faced his weakness, pain, fear, indecision, double-mindedness, and cried out to God. And God, in his infinite power, mercy, and compassion, rescued Jonah. So again, how do we heal? We start by facing our problems. Oftentimes, this means facing ourselves and looking into the parts of us we don't want to see. If this is hard, that's okay. If it hurts, even better. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart 
and save such as have a contrite or sorrowful and remorseful spirit. The Lord wants us to depend on him. If we could do this on our own, if we could heal ourselves, would we need him? In 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 11, Jesus spoke to Paul and said, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. God wants to help us heal. So let's start by facing the dark. It might be scary, lonely, confusing. It will probably be uncomfortable. But when we allow ourselves to see how broken we are, when we face our fears, when we cry out to Jesus in our weakness, he will draw near to us. And when he does, we will heal.